Building your dreams, Plug-in India viewers. Here we have the BYD E6 electric car. But today I'm going to be talking to you about Plug-in India's visit to the BYD store at the Auto Expo. BYD, as we all know, is a global electric car behemoth and they have sold over 1.8 million electric cars and plug-in hybrids in 2022 and what Hyundai sells uh, in a year, they actually sell it in a month and even more. For those who don't know, BYD only sells electric cars and ICE cars are history for them and I was really excited to see the BYD stall at the Auto Expo. So what do we know about BYD India car operations as of now? We know that BYD already has showrooms in 24 cities. They have sold more than 700 units of the BYD E6 MPV and have 2,000 plus bookings of the BYD Auto 3. Globally, they have sold more than 2 lakh Auto 3s in 2022. They showcase the limited edition of the BYD Auto 3 with a forest green color. I like the color. If you remember, Abhishek attended the India launch event in October last year. I will link the video in the description. If you want to know our thoughts from the event and also a demo of the Blade battery nail penetration test. At the Auto Expo, BYD also uh, unveiled the BYD Seal electric sedan. Like the Auto 3, the BYD Seal is built on the e-platform 3.0 with an 800 volt car platform. So now ultra fast charging will be really possible because you can take your uh, BYD Seal to a Hyundai or a Kia showroom where there are 150 kilowatt chargers and you can charge in 15 minutes up from 10% to 80%. The seals claim range of 700 km which is incredible. What I liked about the BYD showcase compared to Hyundai is the India head spoke about some technical innovations in the seal. Apparently the seal passes the moose test at 83 kmph speed. The moose test is performed to determine how well a certain vehicle awaits a suddenly appearing obstacle. BYD says they achieve high torsional stiffness because of the cell to body integration where the blade battery is integrated into the vehicle body. This improves the seal's safety, stability, handling and performance. So now I don't know whether it is just marketing mumbo jumbo, you guys tell me. So what we do love about the seal is the 0.219 coefficient drag uh, aerodynamic design which will give some incredible efficiency numbers. So they're launching the seal in October, we don't know what the price will be. All in all, seal is a sexy electric car with the BYD blade battery pack and it has the BYD substance. Also at the Auto Expo, I was looking at BYD's e-platform 3.0 architecture and something caught my eye. There is a giant complex drivetrain system that looked like a big pollution car engine. I asked the BYD person about that and he proudly said, This is the world's first 8x1 high efficiency electric power train where we have integrated the motor, motor controller, reducer, onboard charger, DC converter, high voltage distribution box, vehicle controller and the BMS. But my concern is repairability. If I buy the BYD Auto 3 and uh, after three years of warranty which is over and the onboard charger conks off, uh, I'm sure that you know these BYD swanky car showrooms will not be able to repair it. Will they ask me to purchase the entire 8-in-1 drivetrain system and how many lags do I have to shell out for its replacement? Electronic parts can fail anytime. We have seen this with our ownership of the E2O where Mahindra used to charge rupees 50,000 for a new onboard charger. So BYD really needs to answer this and uh, we tried asking some people at the Auto Expo but they were clueless. Uh, but actually if you can spend like 34 lakhs on a uh, car like this, uh, why would you really think about repairs? But for me, repairability is really important because, you know, that rather than replacing components, I would rather repair. So if anyone from BYD is listening, please give us some more information. The disappointing part of the BYD show today was the lack of talk on investments in manufacturing EVs in India. When are they making investments in manufacturing these electronic components in India? Will they make BYD blade cells in India? There was no talk about that. We can safely assume in 2023, BYD cars will all be imported from China. China. 
That's why. So the most disappointing thing for me personally is that BYD has no plans to launching the BYD Dolphin hatchback in India. So the Dolphin is sold at about 11 lakhs in China and it would have been an ideal car for India. And it sucks that BYD only wants to target the premium segment in India. So BYD India wants to sell about 15,000 units of the Auto 3 and the BYD E6. But I really don't know if at a price point of 30 lakhs, will they actually hit it? You guys tell me, what do you think? So what do you guys think about the BYD India strategy? Are you excited about the SEAL and the Auto 3? And what do you think about BYD electric cars being CKD'd? So do write your comments below, we would like to know.